All right, guys, that's Jason Voorhees and uh, this couch potato uh, skeleton. Kind of cool. But uh, let's get started on those uh, gay movies. <laughs> okay, first up on my list is uh, Happy Texas. Good comedy movie. Um, I can't remember what it's about. I think uh, kind of like uh, Chuck and Buck or Chuck and Larry or whatever that movie is, which is also on my list. Uh, Happy Texas. Good movie. I think they're just pretending to be gay, so it's kind of a comedy. Not really gay, but they're pretending to be gay, so it's kind of funny. I recommend it. The guy from Saving Silverman's in it. But uh, let's see. In and Out. Kevin Klein. Great movie. Uh, he's a teacher. He finds out he's uh, gay and he's married. So really funny movie, though. I like it. And then we have another comedy, Strange Bedfellows. Uh, not a lot of people heard about this movie. Um, I think they're two firemen, same thing, um, with the Adam Sandler movie. They're, uh, to get more money or to, like, they're getting kicked out of their house or something. Um, they pretend to be gay to do whatever they have to do. Next is, uh, Buffalo Soldiers. Good movie, same thing. I think they're pretending to be gay to get out of going in the army. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix, uh, Ed Harris. Good movie, good comedy. And this movie copies all those other movies, and a lot of people don't know that this movie copies all those other movies I just showed you. But, uh, this movie's pretty good. I liked it. It's kind of a knockoff of all those other comedies, though. Um, Adam Sandler, Kevin James. I bought it, so it's good. Funny movie. All right, next up is the rest of my movies are going to be drama, uh, gay movies, I should say, or about gay stuff, and you you know what I mean. But uh, next movie I have is Bent, uh, Clive Owen, great movie. He's in the army, or no, he's in he gets he's in a camp, one of those Jewish camps, back in World War Two days, uh, Jewish time, garbage, whatever. But uh. He's, uh, he's basically in a camp and they find out that he's gay and they give him a hard time. They torture him and stuff. Pretty messed up movie. Early movie from Clive Owen. So, not a lot of people know about this. It is out of print. Um, good movie though. Next up we have, uh, The Velocity of Gary. Also an out of print movie. Selma Hayek, one of her first movies, uh, they're on the streets, they're kind of prostituting. This movie's actually about, about this guy getting HIV, and they're just the two buddies. Um, good movie. Next up is uh, Some of Us. This is kind of a comedy movie. It's uh, out of print, too. It's actually worth some money. Um, Russell Crowe plays uh, a gay, gay guy. I never really watched this one because it looked kind of too gay. I just got it because it's out of print and worth some money. And uh, Russell Crowe's in it, so that's why I kind of got it. And then we have uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas, Speedway Junkie. This movie's about kind of the same thing. Uh, they're just young boys uh, on the street doing drugs and uh, hooking and stuff. And I guess they go both ways, so that's why this is in my uh, gay movie collection, I guess. Next up is John's. Uh, David Arquette, one of his first movies. This is uh, came out on uh, Showtime or HBO. One of those two. But it's actually out of print. You can't find this movie. Um, probably lower than like 20 bucks used. Uh, good movie though. Same thing. They're hooking on the street. Uh, you know, turning tricks. Kind of like uh, Less Than Zero. Next up, we have another movie like that, Sean Astin, Will Smith. This is one of Will Smith's first uh, movie roles. Uh, really good movie. Uh, another uh, Showtime or HBO movie. I think it's out of print. Um, same thing, they're all living on the street, they're all doing drugs. A couple of them are turning tricks and shit. So, a uh, good movie. And Sweetie's joined us. We have a couple more stacks to go, so, uh, okay. Holiday Heart, this movie is actually worth like 200 bucks. It's out of print, you can't find it anymore. Uh, v and Rhymes is in it. He plays a, uh, I think he plays a, a gay guy or a, 
he's really gay, though. He's kind of, like, feminine and stuff. It's kind of funny. I think he dresses up like a chick a couple parts of the movie. I can't remember. But it's a good movie. Not a lot of people know about this one. It's uh, Vian Rhymes uh, playing a gay guy. One of his first movies. Holiday Heart. Recommend it. And a lot of people know about this one. This is uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's first movie, uh, Basketball Diaries. Really good movie. Uh, I've watched it over ten times when I was like 18 and shit. And could watch it. Good movie. These guys are uh, they're in like a Catholic school and they're just doing drugs and uh, their life goes to shit. A uh, true story about this. Not him, but the character he plays. Good movie, though. Good drug movie. It, it's in the uh, gay se selection because uh, I think at the end of his uh, drug binge, he uh, ends up, like, pretty much, like, blowing a guy for, like, a hit of whatever he's addicted to. But a uh, good movie. One of my favorites. Next up is uh, Tweak City. Same thing about crystal meth. Uh, this movie's in my city, San Francisco. Um, really good movie, though. I like it. Next up is Twist. I don't know why this is in the gay selection. I looked it up on IMDB or whatever, and uh, it's kind of gay, so uh, whatever. This movie's great. This is uh, John Malkovich, I think. Yeah, John Malkovich is in it. Uh, this is a uh, good movie, actually, about um, they're forcing kids to be uh, prostitutes and stuff, so they kidnap them, and it's... Uh, Good child abuse uh, movie, though. Uh, Tom Arnold, actually, is one of the kidnappers. I can't remember if John Malkovich is uh, in it, but uh, as you can see, he's in it. Tom Arnold. Next is Normal. You know what I just realized, guys? I don't have any light over here. So let me get some light for the rest of the movies. Sorry about that, guys. The light sucks. But, uh... We got some light now and we're gonna finish these movies. The gay movies. Alright. Next up we have Normal. This movie's pretty good. It's a HBO movie. Uh it's really crazy actually. I think the kids turn eighteen and then um this guy just wants to be a woman. So it's like he just wants to be a woman. It's uh really funny. It's like comedy drama, I would say. But, uh, really good movie, normal. HBO movie, too. So it is out of print. You can't find it anymore. Next up is another, uh, Showtime movie. HBO movie. Soldier's Girl. Really, really intense, true story of a, uh, guy in the army that falls for a, uh, she male or transvestite or tranny or I don't know what they call themselves now, but, uh, that's pretty much what, what it's about. And because, uh, the other crew members or whatever in, in his base or army camp base stuff, they end up kind of beating him up. And uh, I don't want to tell you what happens at the end, but it's a real brutal, true story. And let's get on with the other one. Next up, Lesson Zero. Uh, really good movie. Robert Downey Jr. is a uh, addicted to heroin and crack and coke and pretty much everything. And he's uh, turning tricks and... Uh, Blowing guys, I guess, for money. <laughs> so it's a really uh, fucked up movie. Good movie, though. Next up, uh, these these movies next up are uh, all movies that won awards. Uh, Academy Awards or other awards. This is uh, Milk, Harvey Milk. You saw the school on my last video. Uh, we passed a school that is named after this guy. And this is a real good movie. Great movie. Won a lot of awards. Next up we have uh, Brokeback Mountain. Won some awards. Good movie. Next up is uh, Philadelphia. Tom Hanks, Denzel Washington. Um, movie about um, him. He has HIV or AIDS. Or he's dying of AIDS and the job fires him. And it's all about the court case about uh, Denzel the attorney. And uh, they're suing the people who fired him because he has AIDS and nobody kind of wants to be around him and stuff. Next up, Mysterious Skin. This didn't win any Academy Awards, but it won a bunch of independent awards. Uh, Joseph Gordon-Levy is in it. 
unheard of movie. I think it's out of print. He's uh, addicted to drugs and he's kind of... It's a pretty trippy movie, actually. Kind of culty. Next up is uh, Dallas Buyers Club. Good movie. It's about uh, Matthew McConaughey's character. Um, what happens? I think he has he has AIDS too, and uh, he finds a uh, drug to kind of get the HIV down or whatever, and uh, he's selling it illegally to a bunch of other people that can't afford the uh, AIDS medication and shit. And any day now. This movie is great. This is actually one of my favorite movies for a uh, gay couple movie. Um, it's about these two guys. They uh, this guy right here has Down syndrome. He lives in their apartment complex, and the mother can't really take care of him. She's a drug addict, and uh, basically they end up. Uh, she goes to jail, and she gives custody to these two gay guys, and then. Um, the gay guys are kind of given a hard time, even though they actually are the best choice for this kid. And, uh, real messed up, sad movie, actually. But, uh, great movie, though. And we have Monster, won a bunch of Academy Awards. Uh, this movie's a kind of lesbian type of movie. She's a prostitute hooker who, uh, ends up killing all her tricks. She ends up going off. One pissed off lesbian, I'll tell you that. Next up, we have uh, Boys Don't Cry, another lesbian movie. This is actually a really good movie. Hard to watch, though, really uh, intense what they do to uh, the, um, her who wants to be a him, I guess. And she tricks everybody, and everybody she's hanging around with and smoking and drinking with all think that uh, it's a guy. And then when they find out it's not a guy because she. Or he ends up tricking, uh, he, she, I don't know what the hell it is. But, 